There have been nine generations of the Faber-Castell company. In 1761, Caspar Faber, the first generation of the Faber-Castell castle, started producing pencils in a small village nearby. He then passed it on to his son, who later built the success of the A.W. Faber brand by making modern wooden pencils. It's kind of similar to a medieval castle, but it has two parts. There's a newer part and an older part. This is the older part. The castle was finished building in 1884. The family continued to live in this castle until 1939. And on this side we have the newer part of the castle, which was finished building in 1906. Sadly, we couldn't go inside the factory and see how the pencils are made due to COVID restrictions. So we couldn't feel much of the inside of the castle, but this is what the interior looks like. This is a study room for the kids. This is a statue of the founder, Casper Faber. Here we have the history behind how the brand Faber Casta was created. And here are all nine generations of the Faber Castell company. And here are just a few of the Faber-Castell pencils. So inspired by my visit to Faber-Castell, I decided to share some of my sketchbook. So here it is. Here is the first drawing in my sketchbook. This was a drawing that I drew for Mother's Day. And as you can tell, it's a mother giraffe and a baby giraffe. So this next page is a marketplace and I decided to draw a marketplace and experiment with it. This turned out a lot better than I thought it would. I really like how the colors came out. So here we have the third page. This is a fruit bowl. So here I just tried to draw a bunch of different fruits realistically. This was kind of experimental. I don't really draw realistic food often, so I thought it would be nice to try something a little different. So this next page was actually inspired by a picture of a scooter that I saw. So I thought it would be kind of cool to draw a scooter, and here's how it turned out. So I used some watercolor and some color pencils to draw this. So 
So those are all the pages in this sketchbook that I finished, but I'll show you some of the ones that I finished next week. That's the end of this spectrum. I really enjoyed going into the castle and seeing all the interior and how it's still well preserved. That being said, congratulations to Favorite Castle for maintaining their tradition and culture for 250 years. I'll see you next time.